This winter storm's problems are going to begin shifting eastward and in parts of the Midwest and Great Lakes very soon with winter weather advisories in that direction as this system will make it to the northeast by Monday. I've got the details on the progression of this system, the snow totals, the wind and cold behind it, as well as a pattern flip down the line. All of that in this video. One Nation Weather Latest alerts from the National Weather Service indicating that the system is beginning to shift northeastward with winter weather advisories now spreading to parts of Iowa, Missouri, and Illinois. Those alerts over parts of Kansas, Oklahoma, and the Texas Panhandle are soon to expire. We've got winter weather advisories over parts of northwestern Michigan for lake effect snowfall with winter storm watches there coming off of Lake Erie and Lake Ontario already at this point. Now let's time the system out. Sunday early morning, notice we begin to see some snowfall making its way through far northern parts of Missouri. We'll see this into parts of northwestern Illinois. Illinois, southeastern Iowa, as well as parts of southern Wisconsin. Now, overall, this is going to be pretty light to moderate at times. We're not really going to see any heavy snowfall at this point with this system. The rain snow, snow line is being drawn on your screen right there. You can kind of see through parts of central Illinois back on down through central parts of Missouri. Areas really north of Columbia and Jefferson City, Missouri, and north of places like Lincoln and Bloomington there in Illinois. That's where we'll get some of the most snowfall out of this system and really just rain everywhere south of that line. No mixing, thankfully, right along the boundary here. It looks like it'll pretty much just be a sharp shift from rain to snow if you see that change. Parts of Michigan around Detroit also being right on that line, but thankfully, again, no ice expected right along that. And then tracking this on off towards the northeast into parts of PA, parts of New York, we'll see this rainfall onset, maybe some snowfall into parts of the the higher elevations there. You can see this in the far northwestern parts of Pennsylvania, parts of southern New York, just these higher elevations really getting in on snowfall. Otherwise, it's rainfall as we get a pretty strong southwesterly push with this system at least to start as we go Sunday night at midnight and then to 1 a.m. time frame. Here we go towards our Monday early morning. We're seeing some of the rainfall pushing on up to Cape Cod. We've got heavier rainfall, at least a moderate to heavier rainfall anyway, pushing on through Long Island as well. Again, mostly um, s rainfall out of the system, just a little bit of snowfall in some of those higher elevations. And then the system really begins to see, see a dropout in pressure as some low pressure coming off the Atlantic combines here. And that will help to bring in stronger winds as well as some heavier rainfall wrapping back around into parts of places like Portland, Maine, um, right, right around Bar harbor as well. Pretty much the half of Maine with the coastline is going to be seeing rain. The northern half of Maine seeing snowfall and light to moderate snowfall at that. If you enjoy my content, please help me get to 900, even 1,000 subscribers over the next week or two. I'm accurate, easy to understand, and a passionate forecaster, and I hope you can see that throughout my forecasts here. Now let's move on over to the NAM model here. You can see snowfall again really beginning to wrap up over Kansas, but snowfall totals again some places half a foot there. Two to four inch totals making their way through parts of northern Missouri, through Iowa, through southern Wisconsin, as well as northern Illinois. This does include Chicago. Lake effect bands will bring in maybe five to eight inches in western Michigan there, and snowfall continues into some of the higher terrain in the northeast. Now, the system broad view here with the Euro model, just breaking down a few things to kind of show you what's going on. Don't want to forget you there along the Gulf Coast of Florida, parts of Georgia, southern Georgia at that, getting in on a little bit of rain with the low moving through there. That's pretty much irrelevant to what's going on here in the Great Lakes, though, and the northeast. It's going to be with what's sitting off the mid-Atlantic coastline on your Sunday afternoon and what's in the Great Lakes region during that time, pretty much merging, and that's where the heaviest rain is going to come in. Again, parts of Long Island on up through Cape Cod and then along that Atlantic coastline of places like New Hampshire and into Maine. Again, the only places really seeing snow here are going to be up into northern Maine as that low bombs on out and makes its way from south to north, again, combining with what's left of that system that's been making its way as winter storm Kate across our country. Um, that is C-A-I-T, Winter Storm Kate, by the way. Um, and then that moves on off towards the northeast. And again, we begin to really see things clear out, except for lake effect snowfall, which is um, my next topic of discussion right now. Let's go ahead and switch on over to that. Lake effect snowfall, this is a model combination of snowfall totals. So just through the winter storm itself, you'll already get some lake enhancement here, coming off Lake Erie, coming off Lake Ontario. Some totals getting up, you know, two, four, six inches of snowfall just from that. Now, as this system continues, you know, getting going, we get the northwest flow to wrap on around areas from Erie and McKean and Pennsylvania there on over to places like Jamestown, New York. You could pick up a solid foot, maybe to foot and a half of some lake effect snowfall through the end of the week. And then on over there coming off of Lake Ontario, places like, of course, Watertown, areas surrounding that, getting in on the heavy snowfall there. 
that's for parts of the Tug Hill Plateau. So again, very hefty snowfall totals just really making their way over that region. Everyone else pretty much seeing no additional accumulation except for what you got from that winter storm. We'll see if we can get some shots of snow into other parts of the northeast down the line from other systems. But now let's time out the wind gusts, the last aspect of the system other than the cold. You can see we've got 30, 40 mile per hour wind gusts over the north central U.S. as we make our way towards our Sunday morning. Coming out of the northwest, that's as that little snow band makes its way through parts of Minnesota and it's, it's really going to be what helps to push that winter storm all the way on over to the northeast. Wind gusts 30, 40, even up, upwards of 45 miles per hour over this region as we make our way Sunday night and into our Monday. This does include parts of the upper Midwest as well. A little bit gusty on all the way down to parts of the Gulf Coast as well, but this has triggered wind advisories already over the Dakotas. I presume that it will continue to do more of those as the system makes its way on off towards the east. Now playing this back just a little bit more. As we go Sunday night into our Monday, we'll see these wind gusts transfer on over into the Great lakes region some gusts 20 30 40 miles per hour banking up against the mountains of the appalachians there especially and then coming off of um you know lake michigan coming off lake erie all the great lakes there of course you get the enhancement of some wind we'll probably have some wind advisories or high wind warnings there we'll also have that system right off the northeast coast bringing gusty winds right on shore from cape cod on up through um maine then we get the northwest flow to continue to strengthen. That's what's going to help to build in that lake effect snowfall down the line. We get 30, 40 mile per hour wind gusts to persist at times through parts of the northeast all the way through mid to late week. Now your feels like temperatures, this is what it's feeling like with the winds factored in. We've got temperatures in the teens and 20s, or at least feeling like it here over the central U.S. as well as parts of the Great Lakes and into the northeast here as we make our way towards our Sunday, November 26th in the morning. Parts of Wyoming as well as parts of Colorado in the mountains just really very cold there in the negative teens and, and, and such in that region. You know, we get this cooler air line to continue moving southeastward as we make our way towards Monday the 27th. Notice some of these teens and 20s going all the way as far south as parts of the Arklatex and the Feels Like Department. As we make our way towards our Monday afternoon... You know, we, we, we see this line recede a, a little bit, of course, with the daytime heating, but it's barely going to feel like the 50s into parts of the southeast during the day. We've still got it feeling like zero into some areas in northeastern Minnesota, into some parts of northern Wisconsin, as well as on over um, into the upper peninsula of Michigan. We continue to see that move eastward, and that band is really going to be what's impacting the northeast with that very, very cold air as we make our way to mid to late week. You can see the freezing line, or at least the feels-like freezing line, Tuesday morning going all the way on down almost to the Gulf Coast. Then we see this retreat, especially for the afternoon hours, on back into the northeast, but it's not even going to be getting out of the feels-like range of 10 to 20 Tuesday afternoon into places like New York City, some of these areas. It's going to be very, very chilly. And we'll continue to see that cold air linger on around point being here. This is one of the first really big Arctic air masses of the year. It will not last long, though. We'll begin to see a southerly push move back into parts of the southern plains. Nonetheless, though, we still see the morning freezing line uh, over at least the you know the upper two-thirds of the country. Your Climate Prediction Center outlook for, no or for December 1st through December 5th shows warmer-than-average air building over the eastern half of the country, especially in the southeastern region with cooler air pushing on into the four corners, but of course the warmer air looking to win out actually on this graphic at this point, as you can see with the brighter reds, in fact maroons into far southwestern Florida. And then with your Climate Prediction Center precip outlook for that same time frame, getting wetter than average, especially in the southeast, really indicative of the El Nino we're seeing. But what this is from is from a system that could start off December strong with severe weather flooding, and I actually want to take a very brief look at that here before the video ends. Here we go, we're going to start this out. I'm not actually going to have the timing on your screen, but what you're looking at is November 30th through December 1st. That's all I want to play out here because this is a little bit far out. See a low pressure get going over the south central plains. We see some thunderstorms on the southern end of it. This could be a brief severe weather event for eastern Texas into the Arklatex region. Maybe even as this transfers on over to the lower Mississippi River Valley as well as towards parts of Alabama and Tennessee. Overall, it looks like this system will move on off towards the northeast with the warmer air, not expecting much in the way of winter precipitation, potentially breaking up down the line, but again, stuff we need to watch with the European model and the GFS there, of course. Again, I'm at 877 subscribers as of the time I filmed this. I'm accurate, easy to understand, and a passionate forecaster. I really love it when you hit that subscribe button and like the video, so please go ahead and do those for me if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your support recently on the recent videos. Here are the credits, everyone. Have a great day, and stay safe out there. One nation weather.